Within each of us lies a world, a mysterious, complex, and vibrant world. Have you ever wondered what drives this life? What is hidden within the diverse creatures around us? An unprecedented adventure, a long journey not for the faint of heart, a journey steeped in blood. From the primal flow of lower creatures to the deepest mysteries within humanity, human blood itself. Each droplet of blood tells a story. Each cell is a microcosm, a warrior. Silent battles, relentless races, and truths yet to be unveiled. The diversity, the similarities, and the secrets will be uncovered now. 1.2 seconds. The experiment was conducted under strictly controlled, safe conditions by experts. Do not attempt to replicate this at home under any circumstances. Eel blood. At 10x, eel red blood cells are visible with an elliptical shape. At 20x, red blood cells are clearer, elongated like wheat grains. At 40x, you can clearly see nuclei within red blood cells, along with white blood cells. At 100x, unlike human red blood cells, eel red blood cells are not biconcave. Note, eel blood contains a toxic protein that can harm the body if ingested raw or through open wounds, potentially lethal enough to kill a cow. Fish blood. At 10x, it might look like fruit fly larvae at first glance, but these are fish red blood cells. At 200x, most red blood cells are oval shaped. At 400x, RBCs are clearly visible, with nuclei, unlike mature human red blood cells which lack nuclei. WBCs in fish are mostly round, but some have one or two elongated tails. Dog blood. At 10, X, red blood cells' shapes are not clear, but you can see them stacked together with white blood cells clustered. At 20, X, white blood cells are clearer, arranged in clusters like a honeycomb. At 40, X, red blood cells are more visible, resembling human red blood cells with a biconcave disc shape. Chicken blood. At 100x, chicken red blood cells are elongated, like rice grains, moving like a storm washing away drying rice. At 200x, red blood cells are clearer, with visible nuclei. At 400x, red blood cells show no biconcave shape, unlike human red blood cells. At 1000x, White blood cells are visible, about 20 times smaller than red blood cells. Cat blood. At 10x, red blood cells clump together, making observation difficult. At 20x, Red blood cells' shapes are still unclear, but cat red blood cells appear smaller than human red blood cells. At 40x, many. White blood cells are visible, some with unusual shapes. Red blood cells are clumped but show a biconcave disc shape. At 100x, white blood cells are clearer, 
but red blood cells remain hard to observe in detail. Pig blood. At 10x, pig red blood cells are much smaller than those of other species, with no clear morphology visible. At 20x, red blood cells are slightly clearer. At 40x, red blood cells show a biconcave disc shape, but many bacteria and white blood cells are present. At 100x, White blood cells are very clear, with deformed red blood cells and numerous swimming bacteria. The sample was collected cleanly, so contamination is unlikely. This may indicate a bacterial infection, possibly Streptococcus suis, causing red blood cells deformation and reduced counts. Human blood. At 10x magnification, red blood cells appear bright red, stacked together, making it hard to discern their shape. White blood cells are hidden among the red blood cells. At 20x, red blood cells' shapes are still unclear, but white blood cells become more visible. At 40x, red blood cells are clearly seen as biconcave discs, White blood cells appear round and shiny, like little diamonds. At 100x, the biconcave structure of red blood cells is more evident. White blood cells remain sparkly, occasionally hiding among red blood cells. Under the microscope, each drop of blood tells a unique story of evolution and physiology. From amphibians and birds to mammals, blood structure reflects each species' oxygen exchange needs and environmental adaptations. If you love thrilling scientific explorations like this, please subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment below. Join us to keep exploring the microscopic world.